thousands of metres below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean, with five people, including a British billionaire and a teenager, on board. Its last location, King, was directly above the wreck of the Titanic, which it had been exploring off the coast of Canada. A frantic search now underway for the vessel, with oxygen fast running out. The highest resolution footage of the Titanic's wreck captured by an Ocean Gate expedition. Tonight, that Titan submersible is at the centre of an urgent search. Rescuers hoping to avoid a second tragedy. Our capability is limited to uh, sonar buoys and listening for sounds. The high stakes mission involving US and Canadian ships and planes is unfolding in remote waters. 1,400 kilometres east of Cape Cod at a depth of almost four kilometres. The round trip was supposed to be eight hours long. The submersible lost communications one hour and 45 minutes in. There's really only three possibilities for communication failure, but in those circumstances, one would have expected the submarine to have surfaced by now. Some sort of failure that has left the crew on the bottom, alternatively something catastrophic, like a flood, like a fire. The operator specialises in Titanic exploration and has carried out missions to the wreck for the last two years. Guests pay more than $365,000 for a chance to glimpse what's left of the world's most famous maritime disaster. We have people who have ordered their homes to come and do the trip. Five people are on board, including the Ocean Gate CEO, Stockton Rush. Let's take a look at Titan. We have our uh, control screen here. We want to document what the wreck is like now and also try to predict what it will be like in the future. Paul Henri Nargillet, a former commander in the French Navy and leading Titanic historian, one of Pakistan's richest men, Shuzada Dawood, and his 19 year old son, as well as 58 year old British aviation billionaire Hamish Harding, a known explorer who has travelled to space and holds 16 airspeed records as a jet pilot. He recently submerged to the Earth's lowest, deepest point, the Mariana Trench in the Pacific, almost 11 kilometres down. Very hostile environment. The pressure is phenomenal down there. When an American news outlet was on board the Titan submersible last year, it got lost for hours and had unorthodox controls. We run the whole thing with this game control. <laughs> requiring a waiver outlining that the submersible was experimental, not approved by any regulatory body. And could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, or death. This submarine goes much deeper than military submarines normally do. I hope for a miracle, but I don't think people ought to be holding out too much hope. These are the only photos of the team yesterday after dire winter conditions in the area this year. Hamish Harding posting online, a weather window has just opened up we are going to attempt a dive. The first Titanic mission for 2023. The vessel has 96 hours of oxygen. It's now been missing for more than 36. In the United States, Alison Dukowski, 9 News.